What is up everybody? Hope you're doing well. We're back with another video. It's been a while, but I'm back, hopefully. Today I want to talk about John Alexander Skelton and I want to present you three pieces that I currently own, show you how they fit, what the fabrics looks like, the cut, etc. I don't want to do like a big portrait on uh, John Alexander Skelton. I'll link his Instagram down below so you can check it out. But basically he's one of my favorite designers um, at the moment. I think he's really talented. He has presented his 11th collection by now. Really, really strong collections. He's probably most famous for his the way he presents his collections, right? So those are not installations, but like really performance acts that we mainly know for, from um, Jeffrey B. Small, for example. Those really theatrical sort of performances, I guess, uh, where he presents his clothes rather than in like a typical runway fashion, etc. So pretty interesting pieces and definitely cool materials he uses. Um, so a bit of background, maybe he studied at uh, St. St. Martin in uh, UK, graduated in 2016 to my knowledge. And yeah, ever since he created his own label, as I said, just launched the 11th collection. So usually he does, to my knowledge, um, one winter collection and then in summer he basically recycles those kind of cuts and uses some different materials, etc. But he really like created his own schedule, uh, which is really awesome, I think. Sort of like not wanting to be part of that whole fashion life cycle with like a designated like fall, winter, uh, spring, summer collection and then pre-fall and blah, blah, all this stuff, which is sort of like a too rapid development in my opinion. And I think like those clothes, especially when we look in the avant-garde niche, right? Those are meant to be worn for a lifetime. So I think it doesn't really make much sense to present like new looks every couple of months. And this way he also has more time like focusing on sourcing the right fabrics, focusing on the cuts, etc. all this stuff. By the way, all the information that I just gave you, I blandly copied, copied from a German podcast uh, that is called Mixed Personalities. If you're German, I'll link that post podcast down below so you can check it out. Um, they did sort of like a portrait on, on John Skelton, pretty cool. But yeah, I personally like John Skelton because it really transfers those vibes as like Elena Dawson does, as Paul Harden does, like those old Victorian clothes and the cuts are really up my alley. I love the fabrics as well, like he, he uses a lot of like vintage fabrics and sources fabrics from all over the world, focus on, focusing really on artisanal processes, right? So you can really tell when you have his garments in, his ha in your hands, you can really tell like a human being made this. And that's something that's really important to me and probably also really important to you since you're watching my videos. So yeah, I wanna jump into the first piece that I got. So this is a naturally dyed organic cotton shirt from his uh, seventh collection. So pretty much the signature look is the number of buttons that you can see here. So the spacing between the buttons is obviously less than on a regular garment, really resembles the old Victorian aesthetic, I guess. Um, yeah, love the fabric. You can really tell like this is, it feels like it's super old, but it's still high quality. It's washed, right? So it's not like, a two in your face color. It's sort of like a washed red in this case. It has this big color that is unstructured. And then here on the tag, he always, is, those are like handwritten tags, which is pretty cool. And you see it says medium made in England and number 10 of 16. So he numbers each piece individually, which is pretty dope. Has a chest pocket as well as raw hams that you can see somewhere here. Maybe even better on the sleeve, right? So raw hams, which I always appreciate. So this is size medium. Um, maybe talk about sizing real quick. I would say go true to size if you want to buy skeleton. This is a size medium. If you follow this channel, you know I'm a true size large. So this is a bit small on me. Um, what do I mean with small? I mean short because this is quite a boxy fit. I'll throw it on in a second so you can see. Um, so it's quite a boxy fit, so it will definitely fit you width-wise, but it is just a tad too short on me. So I usually prefer wearing a t-shirt underneath, but it still feels a bit too short. And so I will probably let this go, unfortunately. I will have to because I don't 
want to just hoard stuff in my closet that I don't wear. But yeah, you can see that the sleeves are pretty wide as well. All right, here's my wrist for reference. That's a matter of taste as well. I prefer them to be a bit more snug uh, on, on the wrist, but yeah. Beautiful piece, really, really love this one. If I had a size large, I would definitely keep it, but yeah, can't afford to keep stuff in my closet just. But yeah, let me throw it on so you know what I mean. So when I wear this, I prefer to wear it like this, right? So I have a t-shirt underneath so that it doesn't look too short and I prefer having a jacket on top. And the main highlight here is obviously here, the buttons. But the only reason I prefer wearing it like this is because it's a bit short, I think, right? But I think it's still, this is a good workaround. I think it looks pretty good worn like this. Obviously when I remove the jacket, you can see the fit and it, in my opinion, it's too short. Obviously width wise, uh, it's okay. Arms is good as well, I think, um, but this is just a tad too short, unfortunately. I wish it wasn't because I, I love this piece so much. Um, this is what I meant by the sleeves, by the way. They're a bit long, uh, a bit wide. For my taste, right, I like it when I see it with others, uh, but for me it feels a bit weird. But yeah, this is the fit of a size medium on a person who is 191 centimeters tall. So I would definitely say go true to size. If this was a size large, it would probably be to here, which I would like. I'm generally not a big fan of two boxy tops, but I think it works well when I have a jacket on top. So the next piece I wanted to show you is a vest. This is number one out of eight. This is a size medium as well. I think for the vest is pretty cool. I like them when they're a bit shorter and uh, widthwise they fit, I think. So this is a black corduroy vest. I know how to put in frame. There we go. So we have two chest pockets and then two pockets here at the bottom and then a signature buttons here in the front. So a very thick and structured cotton. I love this for layering because it brings like a different, not only a different layer, but also the texture is so different, right? When you have like a linen or just like a regular wool blazer on top, and then you see like the structure here of the, of the cord is pretty dope. Fortunately, there's a couple of uh, dog hairs here. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that we just got a dog a couple of weeks ago. It leaves her hair everywhere. <laughs> But yeah, so the front here is basically a thick structured corduroy, which I love. And then on the back, you have a linen back, which is good for breathability. Also, but it's still pretty thick. So this is a, a winter piece, obviously. And that has this corduroy belt here on the back, basically. All right, so two parts. And then you have a small buckle here. I usually leave this untied. Uh, I like it when it like dangles here on the side rather than like closing it down, but you can obviously close it down if you wanted to. But yeah, this is a piece that I absolutely adore. I can highly recommend this fabric, right? He also has like a jacket in this fabric, which is lovely, lovely as well. But yeah, enough talking. Uh, let me throw this on for you. So this is what it looks like when worn. When I'm wearing a t-shirt, I prefer to leave it open. I think black on black is really good. Um, you can see the beautiful texture of the corduroy and all the buttons. Then you have the belt here in the back and you can see the very cropped back here of this linen fabric, which I really like. I think it really has a perfect length for a vest, right? The shape is really good in the front and then the crop back. Something that I per personally enjoy a lot. So this is what it would look like when closed down. I don't prefer closing it fully down just when I'm wearing a t-shirt. I usually do that when I wear a jacket on top. So this, by the way, is the Poem Bohemian linen jacket that I showed off before. Right, so from far away, it's just a black mass basically, but when you go closer, you see the different textures, right? So you have the linen here, and then you have the corduroy, which I think is really, really cool as a detail, right? Only when you look closer, 
uh, which I like a lot. Yeah, four pockets, signature button line here at the front. You obviously still have the option to close the belt in the back, but I think it's a cool detail that it just hangs off like this and it's the same corduroy material. But yeah, it feel, feels weird when I'm wearing a t-shirt and it's closed down. But I think for summer, this is perfect like that. And then last but not least, we have another vest. This is a obviously red vest. Amazing, amazing fabric. So this is a wool, very thick wool from England. He sources lots of his fabrics like from England and uh, Ireland. I used to live in Ireland and I love the tweed that they have. They have like these huge houses where you can just buy tweed by the roll. Incredible, incredible fabrics. So yeah, this is again with the signature button closure here at the top. So the, the vests usually go pretty high up, which I like. And then the same pocket layout that we have on the other vest as well. All those uh, pieces that I showed you feature the same buttons, by the way, if it focuses, here we go. Pretty high quality buttons. This is number one out of two, right? which is insane. Size medium again, very thick wool, basically the same vest as the corduroy vest that I just showed you, has a black linen back, which feels exactly the same as with the other one. And that has the same belt here as well with the same closing mechanism. So yeah, beautiful, beautiful vest. Let me quickly throw it on for you. So this is what the second vest looks like when worn. Obviously the exact same cut, so it fits exactly the same. Right, we have this beautiful red wool. Quite cropped in the back as well. Just love the vibrant color. Only downside, it's a bit itchy on the skin, right, which is kind of annoying. As usual with vests, when I wear them with a t-shirt, I prefer to leave them open. And this is getting a bit tight on me because I've, again, gained some weight. Unfortunately, when I bought this, like, I don't know, six weeks ago, it fit me a bit better. But yeah, love this one for layering as well, right? So same layout, you have the the four pockets, signature buttons, and then the strap here hanging down. Let me just close this up and get my jacket. So as with the other one, I prefer to wear a jacket on top. I think it really adds great detail. I also love the cut, right? As I said before, those are like cut pretty high. Usually vests are going down like this. And I liked it so even when you close down your jacket like this, you still see the vest beneath, which is pretty cool in my opinion. Yeah, so this is what it looks like with a jacket. So you can also just wear it as a layer, but leave it open, which looks pretty good in my opinion as well. Right, you have those buttons quite in your face, but then just a touch of red underneath, which looks pretty cool when you're like dressed in all black or gray, I think. So yeah, pretty happy with this one. Quite a relaxed fit, even though I think a size large would be a bit better, but I'm still pretty happy with this one. So the strap here is made out of the same linen material that is uh, used in the back here as well. I think it would be cooler if it was the red, right? When you re if you remember the other uh, vest, this strap is made out of cord, uh, like corduroy, which is basically the same material as the front. It would be cooler if those were the same material as here, the wool. But yeah, still pretty cool. So yeah, those were my three John Alexander Skelton pickups that I bought. 
If you're not familiar with him, or if you are, doesn't matter, I highly recommend checking out his Instagram. I love what he's doing. He's such a great storyteller. I think even just using the pictures, right? You should definitely watch the videos. Also, by the way, there are a couple of interviews uh, with him on YouTube, uh, which I can link to as well if you want. And they're super interesting. There's a Zoom call with him where he explains stuff. And he's really like outgoing and customer facing, I would say, um, which is pretty unusual for those avant-garde brands, right? They usually want, the creators usually want to be hidden, be shy or something. But I think that's more like Carol's approach and everybody else followed, right? But I think he really goes his own way and uh, creates stories around each collection, does like a huge effort in like filming and stuff. And there's lots of like refer references to nature and stuff. So I can highly recommend checking out his Instagram. Pretty visual, pretty cool. Also the models that he chooses uh, are super interesting. So definitely a cool brand to keep an eye out. Um, unfortunately, not easy to come by, right? You can check Grailed, um, there are a couple of not steals, um, but deals to be made. In general, like the retail prices are pretty high. The brand can be found in those like high-end avant-garde stores in Germany. It's Darklands. Um, unfortunately, if, if you check the website, there are no prices on there. I wonder if it if this was like Darklands decision or, or his decision. Uh, I'm not sure. But yeah, I don't I personally don't like that um, because I want to see what I'm getting myself into before. I contacted someone, but yeah, uh, Le Carreur is, is uh, one store I think um, that stocks him as well. And yeah, I think you can check out his website. There should be a list of stockists. Yeah, but that's been it. Those have been my three pieces. Unfortunately, the first shirt that I showed you, um, I have to let go, but I think the other two vests I will keep. I would still probably prefer both of them in, in a size large. So if I buy a skeleton in the future, I will definitely go for a size large. I'm really interested in the jackets as well. I think he has some amazing, amazing jackets. Uh, I wasn't able to find those on a secondary market though. Oh yeah, where did I buy those? Um, the rest West I bought on Grailed and the two other pieces I brought, I bought from a, a guy I met online on Instagram. He had those pieces to sell me. Oh, and Dover Street Market. I forgot Dover Street. They're stocking a uh, skeleton as well. And from what I know, they do uh, sales from time to time. So you might be able to get some uh, on a discount, quick insider tip, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.